What is up everybody? Welcome to another video. Welcome to another ride on the KLX. And another fun day. Fall is in full effect. We had a big kind of windstorm today to blow all the leaves off of the trees onto the road. So that should make for some fun in today's video. Plus I am continuing to tune the EJK. And so far it is going great. The Kalex really pulls now. You can really feel it pick up. It's like, I don't know, having a mid-range cam or something in a car or like a turbo, I guess you could consider it like that. Really picks up now. On today's agenda, we're gonna be messing around, not sure. Well, I probably will hit a wheelie lot for a couple of practice runs, but the main focus is gonna be continuing to dial in the EJK because it actually sets you back now instead of, you know, kind of feeling strained when you get on the throttle. So I'm gonna con well, the light's green. I'm gonna continue to work on the EJK. And see if we can't eke a little bit more performance out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the mall, see if the lot's dried up a bit to practice some wheelies. If not, I'm sure there will be some leaves or something there for me to have some fun. I'm gonna drop back here a bit see where I can probably add some fuel. Maybe there's a little bit of room in the yellow zone. Not sure. I'll try that. Maybe a little bit of fuel in the yellow zone. The red zone is feeling pretty good actually. I'm gonna have to do a pull the red line see if I really need to add anything there. So far, big difference from the base settings from EJK. Also, a little quick update for you guys while we're at the stoplight. I will be going to the beach this weekend, but I'll have a video put out. I don't think I'll be taking the bike to the beach. Only I'm only going there for a couple days, but I will have a video all planned out for you guys. I want to take the bike to the beach though because not the beach I'm going to but there's one nearby where you can actually ride on the beach and that would be sick. Nice bike. Getting a nod from the big biker guys. Always good to feel respected. Yeah I don't know if I'm gonna need any more fuel in the wide open range but probably worth a shot to try. I don't know if the difference is coming through on camera, but like I said, me riding it, I can definitely feel a difference with the tuning of the EJK. And brake check. Not too bad there. It's looking like the lot will probably be dry. We'll have to see what kind of traction we can get. But first, we gotta go through the parking garage. We know this area is dry. If this lot is not dry, that'll be okay. Because we'll probably go to the lot tomorrow when it is dry and be able to have some fun then but it looks pretty dry from here so we'll have to check out and see here looks like i'm going to be having some fun on the leaves because i see a bunch of them <laughs> yep <laughs> Definitely a little 
little slick here, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah, you know what? I think the EJK settings definitely helped out with the wheelies because I didn't nearly have to give it as much gas and the front wheel just picked up and I was able to throttle it out a bit. We're gonna head to the other side of the mall real quick. Hello, officer. Let's uh, go to the left here. <laughs> There's no one in there. That's a, that's a good thing. Let's just say that. Jeez, <laughs> that was a harsh bump. I think we are going to head over to the Toys R Us lot right now. See what's popping over there. in this traffic again. Jeez, it is not the time to be riding right now if you want to get somewhere fast. Well, I suppose if I wanted to, I could get somewhere pretty fast, but lawfully anyways. That's okay, I'll enjoy these little side roads here before I head to the football game, and we will probably continue this video tomorrow when it's dry. Wow, I can really get moving up the hill now with uh, this fuel tuning. Oh, we got our crosstown rivals already making the walk to football game tonight's football game is actually like I said crosstown rivalry and let's just say I am not on the orange side all right guys we will continue this video tomorrow because I want to get some more wheelie action in the lot while it is dry So with that, I will see you guys in a couple of seconds. All right guys, we are back out on the KLX here to finish off the video. First things first, I gotta get some gas though. And it is kinda windy out. To finish this video off, I'm gonna go to the mall first because I wanna check up on something real quick. And then after that, I'm gonna try and add some more fuel to the acceleration setting, I think, on the EJK. And then I'll probably try some wide open throttle fuel as well. All fueled up, good $5 spent. those crispy downshifts. All right, here we are at the mall. A little bit busier than this morning when I was here in my car. There's some tire marks here. I wonder who did that. Oh, 
Oh look, there's some there too. I guess the world will never know. We're gonna go over to the lot real quick. Now that it's dry, do a couple practice wheelies, but we're gonna try and focus on the EJK. All right, security is over there. So we're gonna go do this now. Now, I'm gonna try and add a little bit of fuel to the acceleration zone and see if anything changes. All right, we're at two and a half on the acceleration zone. Let's go ahead and see how it did. Whoa, no, 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 no. All right, we'll get on the road here before we rule that setting out. Alright. Feels better. Let's shift up a gear. Doesn't feel too bad. Hello, Mr. Officer. I see you over there peeking out of the corner. All right, here we go. Feeling pretty strong. Oh, a leaf hit me. Feels like it's pulling pretty hard. Nice, we're getting the front wheel to float up a bit. I think I want to add some fuel to the red zone. And that'll probably be the last thing we do this video. I'm going to ride over to the other side of town real quick so I can experiment with it a bit. And then once we get there, we'll probably add that fuel. All right. Whoa, 999 miles. Whoa, we hit it, we hit it. 1,000 miles on the KLX. We did it, everybody. Got four digits on the odometer now. So stay tuned for my 1,000 mile review and much more to come on the KLX. up there I'm not sure what that was yep I think I'm gonna take that fuel back out all right so I took the fuel out of the yellow zone because when I first got on it back at the mall I noticed a little hiccup, but I figured I'd try it out. So 
so it seems that that hiccup is gone now because it was kind of on throttle or bog miss whatever you want to call it so now I'm going to come out of this turn here and see if it bogs again that feels good so looks like we got the cruising and the acceleration zones dialed in because on the acceleration zone if I go up one more light it seems to kind of bog out when getting on the throttle the wide open setting I think it's close I don't think I'll have to make any more changes but once I get a run on the highway I should be able to tell what's going on there. Alright, so looks like the EJK is almost dialed in. And you can really feel it now on the KLX. gets right up and going. Oh yeah. Alright guys, with that I think that is going to be the end of the video. So if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also share it to your friends and those who may enjoy it. And if you are not subscribed already, be sure to smash that subscribe button. And with all that being said, join the club and I'll see you in the next one.